Hi, JG Pastor Jack here. You may remember me from uh, such educational videos as build your own camera slider or uh, come here and smell my finger. Um, about a year ago, we posted a little DIY on building a, uh, a, a low buck uh, sort of scrap metal camera slider. Uh, like everything, uh, you kind of make mods over the, over the course of, uh, of time and here is uh, the latest and greatest version of it and I want to tell you a little bit about some of the mods we've made over the past year and uh, why we've done them, give you a parts list for how to build your own. First thing is, uh, we're using perforated steel tube instead of aluminum now. It's a one inch perforated steel tube. It's heavier than the aluminum, but that's actually turned out to be a good thing. It makes for a more stable platform and uh, makes for, for a, a much more sort of uh, rigid and, uh, and, and non-vibrational non platform. Still using a 3 8 inch uh, threaded rod, cutting my rod at uh, 11 and a half inches or so, which gives you a wide adjustment range. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but it gives you a, a huge adjustment range and also fits in a, uh, a standard USPS express mailbox because I've built a few of these for some friends and uh, that was an easy way to make sure I uh, got to them uh, in an expedient fashion. So basically, the design is the same. You've got uh, two uh, parallel pieces, uh, in this case, of um, your, your one inch steel tubing, two pieces of three eighths inch threaded rod. You'll have to uh, drill out a couple of holes in your perforated tubing for the three eighths rod because most of this perforated tubing that's commercially available has five sixteenths holes, but that's good because that's what we're using for the axles of the wheels, which are next. You'll need eight skate wheels. You'll need uh, some three inch long, uh, five sixteenths, 18 bolts, and you're just going to assemble those very much like this. You've got a uh, five sixteenths bolt goes through your perforated tubing. You've got a half inch long nylon spacer. This can be a 3 8 diameter or 5 16 diameter. Half inch long is the key dimension there. You're going to use 8 millimeter, yeah, eight millimeter washers uh, on here. They fit into the bearings of the skate wheels a lot better than a 5 16 washer. So use, find some 8 millimeter washers. One on there, skate wheel, another 8 millimeter washer and then a 5 16 18 nylock nut on top of that and there's your basic axle you can adjust that as tight or as or as loose as you want um, to let it glide you're going to need some kind of a deck i love starboard starboard is available any marine supply store it's a nice rigid plastic that actually has some texture to it it's easy to work with it, it machines great it drills great it cuts great it's fantastic you're going to need some way to attach your deck to your threaded rod um, I'm using these nylon cable clamps. These are, of course, 3 8 inch thre threaded rod. So it's a 3 8 inch nylon uh, cable clamp. And then some 1032 uh, countersunk flathead bolts going, going through there. So that's your deck. And here is the final assembly. Now here's what's so cool about this. Here's, here's what I love about this is the versatility. Uh, you, you don't need any sort of specific track. Anything with parallel surfaces is going to work. Cut your deck to be less than like three and a half inches wide and you can run this that's that, that's a two by four it's a it's a chunk of two by four that it, but it's running along if you don't have two by four you want something a little bit wider more stable you pull it off of there you adjust uh, and here it is on a two by six you can just walk into a hardware store and buy like, oh my god I gotta shoot it's another town I can't take all this track walk into a hardware store and buy a $10 piece of 2x6 that's 12 feet long and you, you have all that rent room to slide it. Or, oh my god, I don't even want to do that, I don't have time to do that. Well, and you take this thing and you flip it over and it will ride on any flat surface just fine. That, that's what I love about this design. It's, uh, it, it's completely versatile. All you have to do is take your tripod head, flip it to the, this side and you're good. You only need a low profile knob to attach your tripod head to there because you've got low clearance so don't use a big long knob use a nice low profile knob so uh, hopefully if you want to build your own that gets you well on your way and hopefully I was um, ambitious enough and haven't sweat too much to actually uh, put a list on screen of, uh, of, of, of the parts we used. Um, or if uh, you're lazy and you just want me to build you one, I will do that too. I'll be very happy to do that. I've built some for some friends. Uh, they're 80 bucks plus shipping.
and it's got all these it comes with everything and the fancy little end caps so that it looks nice and your parents don't think you're weird or anything uh so that's it and um i really appreciate all the feedback we got on our, our first uh, cheap design and really credit um a lot of you with uh, with helping me improve the design and um having a lot of fun shooting with this so uh enjoy and happy shooting